Hi guys, I am here with a haul video. I just realized I accumulated a few boxes that I need to open, actually three boxes, and I just bought something for Emma. I thought I might just film a haul video for you guys. Hopefully you guys will like this video. I just came back from West Coast Kids. It's one of my favorite kids store let me just show you what i got for her so first i bought a pair of converse for her kids converse emma loves everything pink i bought her a pair of pink converse shoes with no laces just velcro which is really convenient for her to wear i think this will be so perfect for september when school starts they're in the size 9 because her feet are really really big I got her a pair of leg warmers by Baby Legs I think this would look so cute with a skirt or dress like she will protect her knee or legs when she fall down or whatever because she loves to run and stuff so I got her a pair of pink leg warmers she really need a pillow for school I was just gonna go to Ikea to buy one for her but I saw this buckwheat pillow that's really good like for the neck it's for babies so which is really cute so it's just an organic buckwheat pillow or it can be a nursing pillow um, this is a brand I'll make sure to put everything uh, down below I've never seen a buckwheat pillow so and then the cover you can just wash it the cover you can take it out the buckwheat is inside of this white pillow uh, so you can always wash the cover which is really good so for a sale started the summer sale i know it's already over but i thought i would still show you guys what i got <clears throat> so this is a sample of take the day off cleansing balm it's actually a pretty good sample i might take this with me to the cottage this weekend and I remember I used to love this toner by Kiehl's. This is what it looks like. I always need toner, so I just grabbed a, a big bottle. It's really, really good. This is one of my favorite toner. And then I got a fresh deep hydration facial toner i think it's one of their newer item and the review was pretty good so that's why i got it i don't like products from fresh but i want to give this a go if you watch my previous sephora sale hauls then you will know that i always always stock up the sunday riley brightening hydration enzyme cream wait is that what's it called a brightening enzyme water cream from sunday riley it's one of my favorite cream i love sleeping masks even though they're a little bit sticky but it just make my skincare routine a lot easier so i'm going to try the algenist collagen sleeping mask so hopefully it's good i never tried it before so i just want to give it a go i got a la mer skin tint and it has the spf 30 inside my friend uses and she swear by it so uh, i want to give it a go and i actually recommended this to my mom because my friend really like it and then my mom loves it too right I almost finished my IT Cosmetic CC Hydrating Tinted Cream so I thought I might switch it up a little bit and then I bought a makeup remover so this is the Biotherm Balm to Oil Deep Cleanser Makeup Remover the price was really really good so I thought I might give this a go I will link everything down below for you guys I haven't bought any makeup for myself for so long i actually bought the instant retouch primer from fenty beauty uh, i never tried it before so oh i bought the soft matte one. Oh my god the packaging is so cute guys oh love it so it's the pro filter 
instant retouch primer like everyone's raving about it so i just want to give it a go and then the packaging is so nice i stock up on the first aid beauty face cleanser this is so good i put one in my shower one in my husband's shower and then it will last us like half a year it's so good of course i need to stock up on my favorite eye cream this is the complete eye renewal balm from Algenist. i buy this every time when sephora has a sale love it and then i got another makeup item to be honest except lipsticks i haven't bought any makeup for so long so i got the charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize it's the eyeshadow pot in the color well, what is this marine antoinette it's one of those eyeshadows where you just put a layer on your eyelid and then uh, you're done so it's very easy you know what it reminds me of um the Maybelline, Maybelline 2, what's it called? I don't remember. Like, you know, Maybelline back in the days, it was so hyped up. And then the perks, I got the clean, uh, clear flying gel by Bosha and a Glam Glow uh, moisturizer, tinted moisturizer, I think. I got a origin like 500 points per and then i got in another box from sephora so i feel like this is a mainly sephora haul first i got the the diffuser usually i buy my diffuser from joe malone but then it's really pricey right so i thought i might give this a go it's by nest fragrances it's limited edition and it's called coconut and the palm so hopefully it's good i got a skin fix serum it's called a super hydrating serum i never tried this brand before so i thought i might give this a go because it looked really good for five 100 points i got the alterna caviar anti-aging for the hair i love their cc cream so it has one in there and then the hair products so even their sample size but it can last me for a really long time these kind of sample size hair product it's, it's perfect for the gym bag i got a eyelash curler from sashado this is the best eyelash curl i love it i don't know what it is but it fits my eyelash so well it just it's perfect i got a eyeliner from it's cosmetic this is a superhero liner 24 hour waterproof easy glide liquid gel super liner i never tried this before but let me give this a go see how it is and then <laughs> I got another Algenist Eye Balm, a complete eye renewal balm. Uh, so I got two this time. My Benefit eyebrow gel almost finished up and I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it, but I always want to try something new, right? So I got the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. So this is the way it looks. The packaging looks cute. It's like gold and black. So can't wait. So this is everything I got from Sephora sale. Uh, I mean, this is a really exciting. <sighs> Bottega is really, really hot right now. Like it doesn't matter if it's shoes or clothing or handbag. You probably have already seen the uh, Bottega oversized cloud shape looking clutch all over Instagram. For me, I love that bag, but to be honest, I don't think it would fit my lifestyle. You know how much I love a shoulder strap. That oversized clutch wouldn't fit my lifestyle. It would be such a hassle for me to carry it and it would just make me look really, really bulky. And then it came in a smaller size. Bought it in a smaller size. Uh, from Italy. I didn't go to Italy, but I have this buyer that buys stuff in Italy and then he just 
resell it to people so anyways so i have this guy in italy that hooks me up right i'm pretty sure he sells legit stuff because he's my cousin's friend so it comes in a smaller size so i'm like okay of course i'm gonna get it so are you guys ready and this is my first time seeing it too look guys how cute is this it's not like white white you know it's in this cream beige color you know even if i carry it like it will still look cute as an evening bag but it comes with a shoulder strap oh my god i think this would be so much convenient <clears throat> but i think this would fit my lifestyle fit my lifestyle way better than any other bag and then you know even if it's longer you can just tie it tie a knot like you know like this make it shorter see i think this is so much cuter and wearable like during the day too i mean i've seen people carrying the bigger size during the daytime for me it just it wouldn't fit my lifestyle for sure so i really love this oh my god the leather it's really oh it's the, it has this beautiful leather scent you know love 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 this i'm so happy i didn't get the bigger size it's not about the money or what it's just i think this would suit me a lot more than the big oversized one so this is all the stuff that i bought recently please tell me if you like this kind of accumulated haul please leave a comment down below and please subscribe if you haven't done so everything will link down below and please give some love to my travel vlog because i really really love filming them but i feel like no one's watching them i'll see you guys next time bye